Hey, uh, today's video is going to be troubleshooting a Gemega with a D2511 error code. Um, so basically what this error code is, is you don't have internet going into the ATM uh, for one reason or the next. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to troubleshoot all your internet connections. Um, you know, so you're going to make sure the ATM is plugged in end to end. Um, you know, you could make sure you actually have internet, you know, make sure you have other devices that are on your internet up and running. Um, you could try resetting your modem, resetting your router, your switch, etc. cetera. Um, depending on, you know, your network setting that may solve the issue. If not, um, you're actually going to have to go to the machine and go through a sequence of keystrokes to reset or resync the internet. Um, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to log in with the operator password. So I'm going to press um, enter, clear, cancel, one, two, three. And I'm, I'm sorry I said operator, but you're actually going to need the service password or the master password. So in my case, I'm going to type in the service password and then press enter. Um, if you don't have the service password, um, you're going to want to reach out to your ATM provider. So uh, whoever's doing your processing, if it's best products, just give us a call. Uh, we're happy to walk you through this. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to log in with one of those two passwords. You're going to go to system setup. You're going to go to device setup. You're going to go to ATM TCP IP setup. Okay. Now in my case, you know, we have uh, to make an error out. I just change it to a static IP. But basically what you're going to do is, you know, if you have a dynamic IP address, you're going to, it's going to say DHCP just like this. You're going to press the button once to change mode, change it to static, change it back to dynamic. So basically this is, this is how it should be. You're going to hit apply. You're going to hit enter configuration stored. So what that did is I just refreshed that IP address on the machine. So since I'm pulling an IP, um, I don't necessarily know if I have internet, but I do know I'm connected to, you know, a device on the other end, a switch or a router. So, um, in this case, I'm just going to hit, keep hitting cancel to back everything out. I say, I don't have any more D 25. 11 error right here, just says all zeros, which is normal. And I'm gonna just back out all the way. And my error is going to clear out. So once again, just to go through that process again, so it's enter, clear, cancel, one, two, three. Okay, I'm going to type in my service password or master password. Again, if you don't know that, reach out to your ATM provider. And then hit enter. You're going to go to system setup. You're going to go to device setup. You're going to go to ATM TCP IP setup. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to change it to static. Change it back to... DHCP or whatever your setting was, you just, you're toggling between the two settings. You hit apply, configuration stored, hit enter to return, and then you're going to cancel out a whole bunch of times. Hope that all made sense. Um, if you have any questions, as always, feel free to give us a call.